What is going on, crypto enthusiast? As promised, we are doing another sandbox mining and staking follow-up video to show you guys what two weeks of staking has been like in the sandbox. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop right over. You can see I am already on the website where uh, we had our last video where we talked about the setup and how to actually get yourself into this mining staking pool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna unlock our wallet right now. Uh, we're gonna connect right into our MetaMask wallet. And we are gonna log in and just see where we are sitting right now. All right, so Sandarn, it's just taking a second to refresh itself. And there we go. Normally it doesn't take that long. Not sure why it was, but you can see here, I am not blocking anything with my picture here besides this pretty little treasure chest over here. But you can see, if you recall, we had our Uni V2 9.73 tokens that we have currently staked. And what that has earned us, and so today is August 1st, and we set all of this up, I believe it was July 16th. So we're really at that 15, 16 day mark right now, 31 days in July. Uh, but what uh, it's come to be is an average of about two coins a day in terms of sand. So two sand a day. And if we want to come up here, I've got some other windows open to speed things up here. Uh, you can see I've got on my coin market cap site right here with some of the coins that I like to follow. Right here, number 114 rank is the sandbox. Currently we are at 60 cents, so the value has gone back up a bit. Uh, it actually has had a little bit of a drop over the past day or two, which has been interesting because of how much Bitcoin has rebounded uh, from the drop. Bitcoin's up to around 40,000 right now. So if we look at the past seven days, um, I, I know there was a sale that happened uh, about a week ago in the sandbox, but you could see uh, it was going up and up. It was actually competing with Decentraland. They were kind of neck and neck uh, with their values. Um, it got as high as I want to say 80 cents at one point here in the past week. Uh, that it hit maybe right at the beginning of the week uh, but now we're back down to 60 cents currently right now so it's interesting to see the drop that's happening uh, but if we come back over and we wanted to say okay we've earned 34 sand uh, currently I'm on coin gecko that's what I use a lot to just show my conversions we're sitting at about $20 uh, that we have earned in about a half month's time and uh, not only have we earned the 34 sand, and I'm not gonna say dollars or USD or fiat because uh, you don't earn something until you realize it, meaning cash it in or convert it to something. So right now uh, we're sitting on 34 sand that we've accumulated. And if we go uh, back to our Uniswap here, uh, what we're looking at is our Uniswap page where uh, it shows the liquidity that we have. So if we hover over this uh, chart and you look at July 16th, it shows that we added $727.20 here uh, to the liquidity pool. And currently, if we go to right now, uh, that's sitting at just under $1,000 in liquidity. And that's because of the price increases that we've experienced on what um, Ethereum has gone up to uh, since we uh, added Ethereum to the liquidity pool. So what we can do is, is we can actually uh, pull up the Etherscan, which I've already done here. So on Etherscan, this is the transaction. So, oh, here we go, perfectly, 17 days ago. Now we know the exact time. So here was our, uh, here was our transaction. Here is the 700 SAN that we put up for staking and we had to match that. Remember a one-to-one -one ratio in terms of value. So that value at the time um, equated to 0 0.20 Ethereum. Uh, the only thing I don't like about these numbers and what Etherscan does is they're showing you the number based on what the current value of sand and Ethereum is. So although we just showed you that it was, what was it? It was $727 at the time of adding this to the liquidity pool. Obviously these two numbers here aren't even, they don't add up to that. Um, but they do add up to this 986, which is the number you saw right over here, 989, but that's just, just the slight difference in time of opening these windows. So you can see we 
We did our one-to-one -one ratio there, and in return we got that 9.73, uh, which is back here on our sandbox page. So that's what you're looking at. That's the actual transaction. Um, so at the time, and currently right now, if we were to liquidate everything, we would uh, come out a little bit of a head, uh, come out a little bit ahead just because of what the current market is with Ethereum being uh, upwards of around, I wanna say 2,500 right now. Uh, what is it, 20, yeah, 2,660. It's up like another 100 bucks just today, I wanna say. Um, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is that other nice little added benefit of staking and having your coins on the sandbox right now. So what does that mean? We earn ourselves an NFT for having coins staked in July. And just a couple days ago, they released what that was. I was really holding off to make this video until I could uh, show you guys what it was. Um, but it's going to be a golden anchor. What is a golden anchor? I have no idea. Uh, maybe I need to make some marine related experience now inside the sandbox. Uh, but they updated this Medium article of theirs. Uh, I do think they need to make it a little bit easier to figure this out. Uh, I heard them mention it in a YouTube video because I get a lot of the alerts for theirs. Uh, but then I also was able to find it in this Medium article, which if you look at the date on this, it's April 29th. So they had to have updated this uh, just with the current one. So you could just read through this if you want. Um, the chance to claim exclusive NFTs. Uh, just by being in the staking pool uh, down here for the month of July we're providing we did their sand to ether you get to claim a golden anchor stakers will need to be staking by July 30th when the snapshot will be taken and how do I join it goes into that but it, it sta states right here this NFT is the second reward from phase four who knows what treasures it will hold. Stay tuned to know when it will become claimable. So we haven't been able to claim that, uh, but uh, that's something we'll probably uh, add in a little video just to show you guys how to do that at this uh, juncture now that we'll have earned our first NFT off of this staking. So that was just a quick little update. You know, if we want to do some a quick math on what that's equated to you know if we just want to use sand as the example and we know that we put up roughly uh, 699 uh, we could just take that uh, let's just call it 34 uh, we can divide that by our 700 sand and uh, we've effectively had a 4.8 percent return so obviously you gotta break that down into days, months, weeks, years, however you like to figure out your interest. So you can see that's a nice return. I am not a financial advisor. I do not give financial advice, um, but for myself and for that small amount of money, uh, that is, I, I would use the term lucrative. You know, if you're, you're doing this on a higher dollar amount on the thousands of dollars, you could be earning yourself a nice little return on your investment. But again, it's not earned until you realize that gain, meaning until you cash out, until you claim or unstake your coins, these are all just, we can call them imaginary numbers or digital tokens, digital currency. Uh, but remember, you can use that sand to buy things uh, in the metaverse. So you have to make the decision on when it is you're gonna actually take that out or you wanna just keep earning it. Some people probably build up this sand reserve here and then they eventually claim it and maybe they even end up restaking it. But don't forget, uh, you know, even at this amount that we've earned right now, it, it would probably be a wash when you think about what those fees are. So if I click on claim, which I just did, look at this. Look at that gas fee. That's that $25, which this is a set fee. So I'm going to reject that obviously, but you can see I haven't even earned enough in that two weeks period to cover my gas fee. So if we just bump this up to say a month's worth of staking, based on all these figures, we can roughly say that that'll earn us about $40, $45 uh, worth of sand at the current value, uh, meaning you'd really only be walking away with the 20. So as much as that interest might have looked good, you gotta remember there's so many different ways to be looking at this. Uh, if you're interested in more of a compounding interest type of setup, you're going to want to be claiming 
and then restaking. But again, there's a lot of cost involved with that. So that it would be my one tip uh, that I've learned just from this and the cost involved with the gas fees and the transaction fees with the Sandu Ethereum would be whatever amount you're considering staking, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't spread it out and say do a week here, a week here, and trickle yourself in. I would buy it at a price you feel comfortable at, and I would just start staking all at once rather than splitting it up. And that's just my opinion based on the fees that I've seen. So if you're telling yourself I'm gonna I'm gonna do a one to one ratio of about five thousand dollars, so twenty five hundred on each side, and you want to stake that. I would say just go and do it all at once just to save yourself on the fee side because those fees start to add up. They impact your interest, they impact your earnings, and damn, they're expensive. But anyways, I hope you guys got something useful out of this. It was really just a recap. Wanted to show you guys some updates and hopefully you stay tuned for the next video. But check the top right hand corner, hit that like button, hit subscribe. I got some other sandbox and some other metaverse videos for you if you guys want to check out the playlist and give me some suggestions on some videos you guys might like to see in terms of the sandbox. And thanks for watching.